Martin, who will uh, show us something rather interesting um, about Steampunk. Uh, hey, everybody. I, uh, I am not someone who has a real good ability to do a live demo, so I went and pre-recorded this thing. So I'm going to just press play on a screencast. Um, and uh, let's see, I should share the sound. I should share the screen and hopefully it'll work. Steampipe is an open source tool that makes APIs available to SQL queries in Postgres. There are more than 100 API plugins available on the Steampipe Hub, one of which is for Mastodon. The plugin maps Mastodon APIs to 26 different tables in Postgres. Each of these tables comes with examples that you can copy and paste into a Postgres client. This query correlates the authors of Toots on my home timeline with lists to which I have assigned those people. Steampipe is Postgres, so you can connect to it from any programming language or dashboard. There's also a set of dashboards powered by Steampipe's own built-in dashboard server. Here's the dashboard for my home timeline. I have the option to include or hide boosts. When I see something that I want to interact with, I click through to a client in order to boost or reply. These are some of the people I'm following. You can always view source to see the SQL query behind any of these dashboard widgets. I like to keep as many of my follows as possible on lists. So when I find someone who isn't on a list, I'll click through and add them to one. I use these lists to read Mastodon in a focused way. To enhance that focus, the query behind this view implements a couple of rules. I only want to see original posts, not reblogs or replies. And I only want to see at most one item per person per day. Here are my recent notifications, charted by day, type, and server. Here's a compact and searchable list of my own recent toots, also charted by day and by type. The types make me think I should probably be boosting more people. Here are stats for my home server and for other servers that appear in my recent home timeline. Here's how I search for people named Paula. And here's how I search for a hashtag like Python. Notice this column of categories. These are tags that don't come from the primary Mastodon API. Instead, they come from Mastodon RSS feeds, which I've come to think of as a kind of auxiliary API. So the tables in play here are Mastodon search hashtag, Mastodon search to, and then RSS item, which is a table provided by a different plugin, the RSS plugin. This is one of Steampipe's superpowers. If you want to join Mastodon data with data from RSS, or maybe from Twitter, or from CSV files, you just write SQL queries that join tables, and Steampipe handles the API access under the covers. These tag relationships can be an interesting way to find people, too. Here on a search for SCOTUS, I find Chin has used the tag. Chin has also used the tag patents, which is shared by Design Law. That might wind up being somebody that I want to follow and add to my law list. This relationship graph maps a selected server to the people on that server who are boosting others and then to the servers those others belong to. One of the things I can see at a glance here is that there are a lot of paths from the selected server, Hackyderm, to Fostodon. These relationship graphs are also built by SQL queries, which in this case build the nodes and the edges of the graphs. These views don't replace Mastodon clients like Elk. Rather, they augment them, enabling me to scan a lot of Mastodon flow at a glance. Especially in combination with lists, these views help me be more focused and intentional in the way I read Mastodon. To try these things for yourself, head over to steampipe.io, click the download button, follow the instructions for your operating system, then you can do Steampipe plugin install Mastodon.
and tell the plugin about your server and access token. To try the dashboards, clone this repo, then run Steampipe dashboard, and follow the link. You can also head over to cloud.steampipe.io, create a new connection for your workspace, choose the Mastodon plugin, and fill in your details. Okay, great. Um, I'm happy to talk more about this in a session. Hopefully there's a few ideas in here I'd like to explore with folks. Great. So um, that'd be great if you were running a session afterwards. You know, this is a sort of what you built there is a sort of a uh, uh, one of those things with the developers uh, like me um, get all uh, giddy and say, oh, uh, there's all these things I can think of doing. And, and, uh, and it's amazing that we see this kind of innovation in the Fediverse. You know, every time you see a demo, think of how would we have done this on Twitter or on Facebook? And it's quite clear that many of these things would never have happened there. For one, because nobody would take the risk of being cut off um, just because they were too good. <laughs> <laughs>